different types of computer. You may refer to your book, pages 6 to 7. Here are our objectives. First, define a computer. Second, to identify the different types of computer. Third, to share thoughts on how people could benefit from different kinds of computer. What is computer? Computer is an electronic device that helps people perform different tasks. It is used to write letters, draw pictures, make calculations, play games, chat with our friends, and send email. Nowadays, computers come in different forms and sizes according to your needs. The first one here is desktop. What is a desktop? It is a personal computer or PC designed for regular use at a single location on or near a desk or table due to its size and power requirements. It is the most common type of computer. It has a monitor, a keyboard, a mouse, and a system unit. Desktops are generally cheaper than laptops and have longer lifespan. This kind of computer, you can see this almost anywhere. You can see this in computer shop. You can see this in a computer laboratory, at home, or everywhere. Next, we have here a laptop. As you can see in the picture, a laptop is a portable computer with an internal battery that we can use almost anywhere. Laptops are generally more expensive than desktops. Instead of a mouse, laptops have touchpads which is built in with an integrated keyboard. Next, we have netbook. A notebook or netbook is a PC or personal computer that is similar to a laptop as you can see here in the picture. But it is cheaper, lighter, and a lot small. Netbooks are great for businessmen because they can use them on the move. And they can also easily put them in a briefcase or shoulder bag without taking up too much space. To take a look at the picture here. Next, we have mini computer. As you can see in the picture, the size is a medium-sized and mid-range computer. The price is cheaper and smaller than a laptop and a netbook. Look at the picture. Next, we have tablet. A tablet is a touch-sensitive screen or touch screen to allow us to move around the screen and type words and numbers. Tablets are bigger than smartphones and are more limited to what they can do compared to a laptop or a notebook. An example of tablet is the iPad for Apple and Tab for Samsung. smartphones
these are cell phones that can also do things similar to what other computers can do, including surfing the internet. Next, we have Games Console. The purpose of Games Console is to play video games. Like most modern devices, you can now access the internet, play other types of media, and talk with friends. An example of the Games Console are P PS3 and the Xbox 360. We have here in the picture PS3 and the Xbox 360. Next, we have mainframes computer. A mainframe computer is large computer often used by large businesses in government offices or by universities. It is powerful, large, and enable multiple users. Who are the users of mainframe computer? They are the insurance companies that used to process information about millions of its policy holders. Next, we have supercomputers. Supercomputers are known as the grandfather of computer because of its size and power. It contains a several number of central processing units which operate all together to make it faster. They are the largest, fastest, and most powerful and most expensive type of computer in the world. They are used for large and complex mathematical computations like banks and financial companies. Mainframe computer versus supercomputer. As you can see here in the picture, it is as big as your walk-in closet. But obviously, supercomputer is bigger than a mainframe computer because supercomputer almost occupy the whole room. And what does a mainframe computer do? It is a storage of large database. When you say database, it is an organized collection of data generally stored and accessed electronically from a computer system. While a supercomputer used for large and complex mathematical computations that human cannot handle. Mainframe computers serve maximum number of users simultaneously, the same through with supercomputer. Mainframe computer execute millions of instructions, while supercomputer execute billions of instructions. And one of the example of a mainframe computer is the automated teller machine, or ATM. And a mainframe computer can serve maximum of number of users simultaneously, of a person's transactions such as check account balances, withdraw or deposit money, print a statement of account. And supercomputer example is a financial company or financial companies that deals with large and complex mathematical computations that human cannot handle. And mainframe computer process the large amounts of data come into them from external sources such as credit card transactions or payroll processing or salary of employees. While supercomputer 
push the limits of computational speed, discovering what is possible for computer to do. They are the explorer of the computing world. As you can see here, mainframe and supercomputer perform different functions according to human needs. Lastly, we have wearable computers. And what are wearable computers? These are computers that can be worn on the body. First, we have the Google Glass. And what is a Google Glass? It is a wearable computer featuring a head-mounted display in the form of eyeglasses. The Google Glass functions as a hands-free smartphone letting users access the mobile internet browser, camera, maps, calendar, and other apps by voice commands. Next, we have a smartwatch. A smartwatch is a wearable computing device that closely resembles a wristwatch or other timekeeping device. In addition to telling time, many smartwatches are Bluetooth capable. To use a smartwatch, you need a smartphone. On your smartphone, you install the apps that comes from with the smartwatch. To name a few, these are the apps that you need to install in your smartphone. We have here the music, the Bluetooth, email, camera, and your messenger. Next, we have the Zypad. This iPad is a personal development assistant designed to be worn on a user's wrist like a bracer and offers interface port features similar to a laptop computer. So, these are the types of computers that come in different forms and sizes according to your needs. First, a desktop. Laptop, netbook, mini computer, tablet, smartphone, game console, mainframe, supercomputer, and wearable computers.